Comedian Funny Man on a Friday getting ready for a good, good week of uh, college football week number 11. So that means uh, the official first playoff rankings are out. The championship uh, picture is starting to come into focus. This is where it gets really, really good, really, really fast. And I'll be tuned in. Comedian Funny Man, I'm a fan, not an analyst. Fanalist on right now. Turn it all the way up. My thoughts on the initial playoff rankings, really no surprises. Everybody is where I thought they would be. They left a little room for teams who are trending in the right direction to win out and fight their way into the playoff. The big dogs at the top, uh, I think it, it is what it is, and we'll see how it shakes out. Can Butch Jones and Arkansas State win the Sun Belt? Absolutely. They're in a good spot being second in the West right now. They got Louisiana, ULM, and ODU who are also, you know, close to the top in the Sun Belt rankings. So if they can win out and beat those guys, absolutely they can win the Sun Belt. Does Colorado keep it going against Texas Tech? I think they do for two reasons. Number one, Texas Tech is very streaky, two and two in their last four games, even though they did have a big win last week at Iowa State. But Colorado, I think they know that the Shador and Travis era is coming to an end, so they want to Take advantage of that. Play hard while they can. They're on the right path, and I think they'll get it done. Do I think Oregon will continue their dominance in the Big Ten? Absolutely. When you look at their remaining three games, Maryland, Wisconsin, Washington, three teams that just have struggled all year long, I don't see any reason why the Ducks won't be undefeated in the Big Ten championship. Does Vandy keep the train rolling versus South Carolina? Listen, I have not given South Carolina that just do. Um... Even though I know they're a hard, good playing team, Vandy, we know what they've been about this year. This is going to be one of the more interesting matchups of the season. I got to lean towards South Carolina in this one. Will the Florida Gators upset the Texas Longhorns? I've been giving Florida their credit, even though they've been not uh, winning some big games. They've been playing hard. They've been playing better. Texas better be very afraid. Uh, they know that their coach, Napier, is coming back next year. And I'm talking about Florida. Longhorns, I think it might be close, but I think Texas got enough to get over the hump and beat them. Could the Indiana Hoosiers find themselves in the 12-team playoff? Absolutely. This question will get answered over the next two weeks. They got Michigan tomorrow, and then they got Ohio State next week. If they can win those, make it to the Big Ten Championship, I think they'll absolutely be in the playoff. And what a follow-up to the last question. Can Michigan, uh, last year's national champions, can they beat undefeated uh, Indiana? I don't think so. I, I just don't think Michigan is a team that can put together wins. It's going to be a close one, but IU, they just showing that they know how to get the dub, and I think they'll do it tomorrow. I think they're excited to play Michigan. What are Alabama's chances of beating LSU at home at night? Well, historically, they've been pretty good, as you know, Bama usually does well in Baton Rouge. But LSU, both teams coming off a of bye week. It is night. It is at home in Death Valley. LSU is going to have something to say. This is going to be a tough one because they're both playing for their playoff lives. So look, just look forward to some NFL-caliber football being played uh, Saturday night in Baton Rouge. And the number one question y'all have asked me this week, Ole Miss or Georgia? I Personally, I just don't have faith in Ole Miss to get it done. To me, they're the Penn State of the SEC. They, they start off hot, then they get against the big boys, and they just kind of fall apart. Georgia just plays a, a brand of bully ball that just uh, Ole Miss hasn't shown that they can match up with. So Ole Miss, prove me wrong, but right now I'm going with Georgia. If you want to get your questions in, I know you do. All you got to do is follow your boy on Instagram or Facebook. I'm telling you, I take these questions directly from my DM. So whatever you ask me, I'm going to pick the 10 best ones or the ones y'all most ask. And those are the ones that I'm going to answer every week. Comedian, funny man, I'm a fan, not an analyst. I love talking football. Fanalists, let's do it again next week.